And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday. It's the 6th of June, 2020. It was on this day, 1933, the first drive-in movie theater opened. It was in Camden, New Jersey, the brainchild of a young man named Richard Hollingshead, Jr. He was managing his father's auto shop in Camden called Wiz Auto Products. And he dreamed of creating something to bring a little fun to life in the Depression. He mounted a film projector on the hood of his car in his backyard and attached a screen to a couple of trees, worked out a system of parking spaces with various ramps and blocks to make sure that every car would have a view of the screen. The sound came from a speaker mounted by the screen. He applied for a patent. He opened his theater on Crescent Boulevard in Camden. The film was a comedy called Wife Beware, starring Adolf Manjou. It cost 25 cents per car, 25 cents per person after that. There was a kid's play area. There was a snack stand. You could smoke. You could bring your own refreshments. And it felt luxurious. An ordinary motor car transformed into a private theater box. It's the birthday of Maxine Cuman, born in Philadelphia, 1925. Jewish family, but she went to Catholic school. She said, I was told stories of martyrdom and saints, which reinforced what I already knew from observing my father's dedication to work. One must be prepared to endure every hardship to be saved. In suffering, seek salvation. She went off to Radcliffe. She took a writing class from Wallace Stegner. She felt a certain bias against women writing poetry. So she stopped for a while, got married, had children. Then she went off to the Boston Center for Adult Education, took a writing class, and there she met another poet, Anne Sexton, and they became best friends. They installed extra phone lines in their houses so they would never have to hang up on each other. In 1963, Cuman and her husband bought a farm in New Hampshire, the barn falling apart, the roof on the house needed replacing, started out as a summer home. They moved there for good in 1976, and now many of Maxine Cuman's poems are written about the farm, about her horses and taking care of the land. When she was 74, she got in a terrible horse-driving accident, almost died. Punctured lung, broken neck, months of healing, physical therapy, from which she wrote a memoir called Inside the Halo and Beyond, The Anatomy of a Recovery. It's the birthday of the man who said, a writer is someone for whom writing is more difficult than it is for other people. Thomas Mann, born in Lübeck, Germany, 1875, author of Buddenbrooks, Mario and the Magician, Dr. Faustus. It's the birthday of Pushkin, Alexander Pushkin, born Moscow, 1799, died at the age of 38, but in his brief life worked in nearly every literary form. His masterpiece was the verse novel Eugene Onegin, about a man who kills his friend in a duel. Pushkin died in a duel. He was married to Natalia Goncharova, the most beautiful woman in Russia. She had many admirers. And one of her suitors was so persistent that Pushkin finally challenged him to a duel and died of his wounds two days later. Here's a poem for today by Maxine Cuman entitled Appetite. I eat these wild red raspberries still warm from the sun and smelling faintly of jewel weed in memory of my father tucking the napkin under his chin and bending over an iron stone bowl of the bright droplets awash in cream, my father, with a sigh of a man who has seen all and been redeemed, said time after time as he lifted his spoon, men kill for this. Maxine Cuman's poem, Appetite, from her selected poems, 1960 to 1990. That's the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 6th of June. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.